Southampton for the last leg of a nationwide tour. John Tinter, better known to his fans as Earthquake, will take on a number of rising stars tomorrow night at the Guildhall. But first he had to get past our very own Mike, Mighty Mouse, Bushel. Yes, thanks very much. You know, I'm honoured to be standing here in the presence of one of the world's biggest wrestling stars. This is Earthquake, all six feet, seven inches of him. I was getting vertical up there. And since he's been on his nationwide 21-day tour of the country, he's already broken five of the rings that he's been wrestling in. And every day his morning begins in Southampton at the Dolphin Hotel, where breakfast has measured 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale. So what does a 29-stone bulk of a man eat for breakfast? The answer, a small cup of coffee. Earthquake, you see, is on a diet. This is the age of the slimline wrestler. I've changed my life where I'm training and dieting more, so I've lost like 100 pounds in the last few years. Well, this certainly is a new age of wrestling. When John's not performing in one of his two daily shows, he's in the gym working out. I'm not sure you'd have found that with Big Daddy or Giant Haystacks all those years ago. He's lifting here with me on top about 500 pounds. It's just a light workout for him. But this new style of super fit, super action, superhero wrestling has certainly revitalized the sport. It's helped the show sell out nearly every night on this nationwide tour. and certainly moved the crowds in Weymouth on Monday night. You have to be a lot fitter. Uh, people can tell if you're out of shape. Uh, you have to be able to keep moving. Or else the people just, they're not going to be on your side. They're going to be wanting you to be beat. But at the end of the day, though, it is just a show, isn't it? It is fixed, you know, that sort of move. Well, you know, I, I really don't like that term too much. Uh, of course, it's been asked for years and years. All the holds that you see in the wrestling ring are legitimate. They can hurt people. You hear every day of kids back in the U.S. trying to imitate the pro wrestlers and winding up in the hospital with neck injuries, spine injuries. OK, so let's get one thing clear. This sport is not fixed. Do not try this at home. If you want to see for yourself, why not tomorrow night at the Guildhall in Southampton for the last show of Earthquake's tour. But for now, we move on to football. And Portsmouth could certainly have done with some of Earthquake's strength last night as they were hammered into submission by Bolton Wanderers. It leaves Pompey just one point above the relegation zone. Roger Johnson reports. that sort of move well you know I, I really don't like that term too much uh, of course it's been asked for years and years all the holds that you see in the wrestling ring are legitimate they can hurt people you hear every day of kids back in the US trying to imitate the pro wrestlers and winding up in the hospital with neck injuries spine injuries okay so let's get one thing clear this sport is not fixed do not try this at home if you want to see for yourself, why not tomorrow night at the Guildhall in Southampton for the last show of Earthquake's tour. But for now we move on to football and Portsmouth could certainly have done with some of Earthquake's strength last night as they were hammered into submission by Bolton Wanderers. It leaves Pompey just one point above the relegation zone. Roger Johnson reports.